Hey people, Intrat here, 3v3, Sentinel Beach Blue Team. It's Emotional is a Force Commander, very good offense, fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support. This is the Legion of the Damned Elite Scheme alongside some Imperial Guard. Who's this? It's Infernal with a Lord General, fighting in ranged combat begins with the retinue of Stormtroopers going to add to this retinue throughout the game, really strong defense and support the Talon Desert Raiders Elite Scheme here. I don't know if this team, with some more guard, is Sharfex as an Inquisitor. Offensive hero with powerful control abilities, begins in melee combat, but can get specialized ranged weapons. Red team, Alex X Legio with a Tech Marine. Starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. The Dark Angels DLC, I think. Yep, with the robes and stuff, alongside some chaos. First up is Bingus with a Plague Champion. Starts off in ranged combat. Damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support. Looks like the Iron Warriors Elite Scheme here. And rounding us off, Redacted with a Chaos Sorcerer. Offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. This also looks like the, yep, Iron Warriors Elite Scheme recolored this time. In the south, gonna get hammered. Because he's a witch. Or something. Kicking off in the mid. Taking the slightly higher ground, have the guard with a sentinel, Sharfex also has a sentinel it's emotional with double scouts and we've got double CSM for redacted extra heretics of Bingus these guys have taken a bunch of damage and now worshipping Nurgle granting some health regeneration to Bingus's units those guys get stomped though with eternal war on his CSM that was the stomp from the sentinel's ground pound there in the north it's blue force commander took some damage they're trying to now grab this Contested power on the northern side. Who else went down? The Sorcerer went down. CSM be running. No eternal war here. Heretics are still in play, but the Sentinel's going to kind of bully things with only single CSM around. They're going to decap the VP with it. When the other CSM come, though, if they both get a ton of war, they should be able to put some pressure on that Sentinel. Might be a little bit awkward if the other one gets forced off and they kind of come back into play one at a time. Some Nurgle worship back in base there. This is It's Emotional. Apparently gave up getting the node. Triple gens up for the red team over here. VP still uncapped and here comes Bingus with a revive. It's not going to level them. In fact that's going to be their first XP. Here comes Infernal to have a go. Might get flanked by Bingus' stuff. These guys do have that eternal war so they could get into melee and really shred the guardsmen. In fact, those guys just flee at the very sight of them. They do have their sergeants that are reinforcing two at a time. Not sure why they fled. With only two models down. Could have held, held the mid here a little bit longer with them. The Lord General gets his medical sergeant fella. Hand out medical packs. Here comes Shafex triple guardsman and that sentinel being quite aggressive here hasn't been followed in really by infernal here comes the sorcerer special attack misses inquisitor got all the way in and has to run triple chaos space marines for redacted a ton of war on two of them too maybe we'll have triple a ton of war they're gonna shred through guardsmen so quickly yes we do the last squad is getting it as well buffing their damage by 20 percent Head them apart quite quickly, especially if they get into melee like this. Look at that damage. Got some Nurgle worship backing up Bingus' stuff. We've got some grenade launcher heretics too. Good AoE damage versus those guards on all versus all infantry, really. And they get that awesome grenade barrage for disruption. We have Sniper Scouts for emotional. Yep, two of them. Does Alex have some? Did I see that? Yep, double Sniper Scouts for Alex too. It's Sniper Wars. Boom. Big burst damage from long range, as you may expect. It does add a power cost to the scouts reinforcement once they get those snipers. Heretics, actually a pretty good tool to use against snipers. Just rush at them in melee. They'll be picking off your models, but they're low, they're low value models, and once you get into melee, you still win with the heretics. Raptors on the field for Bingus. There's the stomp. Bingus didn't really even attempt to dodge it there. Just holding holding them up I guess here come the Raptors that suppressing jump that they have Hammer of the Witches on the Plague Champion is going to die or fall on retreat there we go leveled up as he ran away though 
heel just went in from the medical sergeant. Raptor's actually taken a lot of attention away from the rest of the map there. Like three or four squads and the hero having to deal with those fellas. Triple CSM Eternal War with Sorcerer's support. If he can land a good Doom Bolts, this is a good good opportunity to hear. They could tear through the rest of them pretty quickly. There's the attempt. And they dodge it. They were on the move already. Meanwhile, in the north, looks like Alex is getting back in there. Has lost some scouts. Now has an assault squad. They can jump into the back lines and harass those scout snipers of it's emotional. Who's gone for the chainsaw and storm shield? That might be there to counter Alex's snipers. They've only got one of them now. I guess the tech marine pumps out some good range damage too. This is going to be nasty. With battle cry buffs as well. Let's not forget. For the force commanders could see the sacred standard in tier two to make them even more annoying especially in a 3v3 where this kind of spammy style i mean there's only three but three is generally considered spam in dawn of war 2 unless it's like a starter unit kind of thing but these are a starter unit you know what i mean triple heretics isn't really considered spam but a specific build like scout snipers is and it can work in 3v3 because you've got two other teammates to support your deficiencies such as anti-vehicle in this case or just jump troops getting in there they are taking some models off the scouts heretics in there too they should have gone for the scouts those heretics they could have wiped them i think they could have wiped them quite easily actually they went for the force commander for some reason it's a good push though by the red team look at this they're on the power with a bunch of csm four csm squads here with a ton of war that's a lot of damage they're pumping out Raptors need to back away, they're quite low. Tech Marine should get revived, maybe. Bingus maybe going over there. Chimera on the way for Infernal. I mean, for example, triple triple guardsman isn't really considered spam. Once those guys all get plasma guns, the tides are gonna turn against the CSM. Good dark flames there by Redacted. The players tried to split, but you still take the damage of a time even if you leave the flames as long as they get you they'll still burn you for a while you have infernal with commissars and sergeants it'll reinforce three at a time up to 12 models and the commissar himself is a pretty decent little combat unit in there much better than the sergeant that's for sure and they're getting their plasma guns too what about Sharfex? they're still at nine models does have double stormtroopers though with assault kit big burst damage from range Inquisitor levels, two, two, and has gone for her Inferno Crystal. Good damage to all targets from relatively short range. Kind of like a really fancy Melter Pistol in its function. Also gives you the Judgment ability in the north though. These Scout Snipers of It's Emotional still causing all sorts of problems. Got Flamer on the tax there for Alex, gone tier two. As has everyone else, looks like It's Emotional the last player to go because they bought a bunch of Sniper Rifles. And also the Chainsword and Storm Shield. Chaos Dreadnought on the way for Redacted. Gonna be funny. They're not a great batch power bashing unit, Scout Snipers. 342 to 291. What is this? It's a Chimera and it's Infernal going for the decap. Chimera is a support vehicle, allows you to reinforce and transport infantry. Amazing synergy with the Guardsmen because they can repair it pretty effectively because Imperial Guard vehicles repair a little bit faster on the first repairing unit anyway after that i think it's standard those tactical marines got wrecked but they still stand well one of them does and he's got that flamer not sure why he's moving forward here i guess he's targeting those tacks just got into trouble assault marines tying up but i think they're going to need to leave battle cries on them from that force commander doing those special attacks and one of them fell over have to jump out should have jumped out earlier it was kind of needless to lose that model there and the scouts arguably should have been decapping this just to get a decap and leave meanwhile inferno pistol is up chimera is still around where well, the dreadnought is lurking there it is got that auto cannon by default good damage to all targets but as i said that guards on the synergy duck inside it back away get out repair and repeat I mean it's relatively micro intensive but we've seen it used to great effects in guardsmen tier 2s 
Oh, look at this. Triple Mark of Corn. Chaos Space Marines for Redacted. Terrifying sight for these poor guardsmen. They'll take some damage running in though, that's for sure. Especially if they can focus on a single squad. Those plasma guns doing some decent work. Melter guns for the Lord General. You say melter guns because the two original retinue members also get the melter guns. The Lord General is... Nice like that. Generous is the word I was looking for. Oh look at this, a Marco Zinch Chaos Dreadnought. Anti-vehicle with this missile launcher. And it might be able to get the kill. It does get the kill. It's a hell of an anti-vehicle weapon, that thing. I mean, you pay quite a lot for it. It does have Frenzy Barrage. So a bit of utility in there too. For that suppression AoE. Got some Plague Marines up for Bingus. Oh, did they get a shot as well? Maybe they got a shot too. Heretics just got out the garrison and might need to run away. CSM here for Bingus, trying to get into melee, there they go. They've got their aspiring champion, good grenades on those CSM from the Stormtroopers. Didn't stop them though, did it? There's a Noxious Cloud too from Bingus. Looks like It's Emotional has got even more Scout Snipers now. Two more in Tier 2. Huh. 337 to 104. So a total of five. Here comes a six. There might be more than five already. I just can't see them on the roster. Don't think there are. Force Commander fell over in the north. Seems to be missing all the hero heroes falling over aside from the Plague Champion. Back to their feet, of course. They've got their black grenades. And the armor of pestilence are nice and tough, but even slower than normal. This dreadnought is so far forward here. Getting melter gun too. Sorcerer needs to run away and then warp that guy out, I think. They have enough red. This is really risky going for this power bash. I guess he's thinking the only threat is the Lord General melter guns and they can be tied up, maybe is what they're thinking. Still very risky. Infernal's in tier 3 with just double guardsmen. Still not leaving this dreadnought. Oh, and the sorcerer's gone down. Can only warp it this far now. Big mistake. I think this dreadnought's done for. There's the warp. Is it enough? The sniper rifles won't do a lot to it. Those hot truck las guns won't do a lot to it. The Lord General is moving. Trying to get to it there. There's some repairs. From Bingus. Needs to keep moving though. Uh oh, is that Lehman Russ? That's a Lehman Russ. That's a dead dreadnought. Facing the wrong way, but still slowly turns that turret and takes it down. Okay, our Space Marines popping their slaughter and pulling their chain swords. And then running away. There's another Lehman Russ from Sharfex. Now what do they do? Alex X Legio has some um, First Company Vanguard, First Company Stern Guard. Not sure where the Stern Guard are though. Oh, that was the Stone Guard. They just got wrecked in the garrison there. Why were they in the garrison? That's a weird one, especially against snipers. They hard counter garrisons. Not only are, are they perfect accuracy in a lot of burst damage, but they can do it from super long range. 239 to 104. Can Bingus and Redacted carry Alex into tier 3 here? Looks like Redacted is still in tier 2. It's got a lot of upkeep on auto CSM. Noxious Cloud. Kind of missed everything. All he ran away. That's Curse of Zinch doing some work there. From the Icon of Zinch. Those nice explosions on death. Alex has plenty of requisition. Maybe they're going to just save up for a land raider. They have tons of power income as well, don't they? Well, 54. The dead Inquisitor. Vanguard veterans do have their power fist on the way. There's the jump. I don't think they can take down the Lehman Rust completely. There's so much hit points out the gate. 1200. Those are those sneaky scouts. Did the Force one the, the Force one did not get the standard. Seems like an obvious play here with all those snipers. They're still chasing the Lehman Russ. Got some cash looking on the field for Sharfex. 
those guys can freely change their weapons, their specialist weapons. Really cool little squad these days, limited to one. Dark Flames after the barrage and a full retreat from It's Emotional. Although the fourth squander stays in play to get the revive. Might get them to three, not quite, eh? Melter Gun Tech Marine here. And Signum Armor on the way. Take some chainsword smacks, but gets out of there. Blue team need to contest the contested VP again. 174 to 104 on the VPs. Here's a Chaos Predator for Bingus. Redacted does get the tier 3, and so does It's Emotional. Some Kastrakin on the way for Infernal. Do these guys get a weapon upgrade yet? They're keeping their hotshot lads guns for now. And we got the CSM of Bingus on the VP. They're going to swap natural VPs at the moment. Bring forth the chapter standard. That's the sacred standard on the way for It's Emotional. I guess they were waiting for tier 3 before they got that. Might see Terminators. It'll take a while to save up though. Do they even have the pop for it? They do, they have plenty. Grenade from Alex. Bunch of stuff on retreat path. Think they'll be alright? Looks like they are going to be alright. What is this? Oh, it's a CSM running away. Got the decap, but did not get the cap, unlike the Kasukin. Kasukin have a faster capping rate. I think they need the sergeant for it though. 156 to 100, a single cap at the moment for the blue team. What did the Predator get? It's gone for the Markov Zinch to try to trade blows with the Lehman Russes. This one is not upgraded. But a Lehman Russ with a Vanquisher is a very, very scary tank hunter. Are all these guys healthy? They are. One of them level 3. Redacted has lost their heretics though. Sorcerer getting caught and goes down. That's a lot of damage. Bloody hell. Double Stormtroopers and Kashuk in there. 156 to 70. Double cap continues. Can the red team get their act together here? Alex with a Land Raider Redeemer on the way. Is it too late? It might be too late. I mean, I'm not sure what else they could have done. Well, I mean, what do you what do you go north with when there's five scout snipers, six scout snipers, whatever it is? But they can't see all of them. One five six to forty five. Vanguard veterans getting in there on the Kasukin, but they're very low. And there's a lot of plasma guns. Kasukin also get plasma guns here for Infernal. And down they go. Alex having a rough old time. Then Red of Phobos on the way for Redacted. Bingus' tank. Taking a bunch of damage. Plague Marines explode. Red team kind of capitulating here. Their power is being hit. Can the Land Raiders turn this around? Do they have time to turn it around? Looks like they are on the contested VP. Well played, Bingus. Oh, jeez. Snipers are here, though. Looks like they're maybe going to get away. With Sacred Standard support. Ouch. Land Red Redeemer, I assume, is going to go north. And help contest that victory point with Tech Marine support. Tech Marine, that needs to be very careful because I assume those snipers with like two shots each will burst him down to death. Tech Marine trying to put some damage on the Lehman Russ is going to die. Puts the shield up. Might be able to get away with it actually. Looks like they have got away. Here's the Land Raider Phobos. Redacted with those side sponsor twin linked LAS cannons. Good for taking on large targets. And these days, counts as a demon. So you can worship those things. Oh. The Predator is in a bad way. Inquisitor giving chase. Judgment goes up on it. And that might finish it off unless it gets repaired. Yeah, it would finish it off. As you can take as you can see, it's taking damage over time while it's judged as well, I believe. Did you tell me that? No, it probably tells you on the abilities tooltip, not the weapons. Red team have the north, thanks to Bingus again with these heretics. The land raider is going to the middle. Should be on the contested VP, I think. To mess with the scouts and stuff. 135 to 12. 
they're in with a shot. They're going to get a triple cap, I think. There's the dirt caster, but this land rider Phobos full shot way too far. It's going to go down. Oh, maybe not. It lives. Is that blessing of the Omnissiah? Oh, down it goes. Maybe that was blessing of the Omnissiah. Doesn't seem to be repairing a land rider if it was. I'm not sure what was repairing it there. Two to one for red. They have lost the contested VP. Can they get one of the Lehman Russes down? Tech Marines going for it. Multimelter on the land raider also helping out that Lehman, Lehman Russ is so low down it goes. It did indeed go down. 95 to 12. Red team are hanging on by their fingernails. This land radio is just in, in the in the in the wrong place right now, I think. Bane Blade is right there. It took down two Lehman Russes though. And here's some Chaos Terminators for redacted. But now they have a Bane Blade to deal with and Melter Kasrakin as well. Can't stay here for long. Being backed off. Terminators are ripping through the castle game pretty well. Land Raider limps away. Uh oh. Got some assault Terminators though, as it's emotional. 64 to 12. Is this guy going to get the natural? Some Kafsikin on the way for the natural on that? That might be enough. Oh, these guys are waiting here to decap it again from Alexis. Good thinking. But if the castle can sit on it, those those scouts probably need to get the grenade to be able to do it. Get a grenade hit on the castle can. Here come assault terminators with sacred standard buffs. Oh, he got whooped out. Whooped out by redacted sorcerer, which was handy. Are these guys getting claws? Nope. Uh, these guys getting claws? Nope. Forty-six to twelve. That might be it. Those scouts of Alex need to go to that VP now to stand a chance. Oh, they're getting, a nap. they're getting the contested. Red team got the contested back. Well, decapped it at least. The Assault Terminator is getting pretty low. The chain axes that these guys wield are counted as power melee weapons in a damage profile. There were a lot of damage to those Assault Terminators, but still a big ask to take them on. Plague Champion with the Plague Fist having a go. Pain Blade is pushed up quite far and down goes the Plague Champion. Red team though grabbed the Northern VP thanks to Bingus. And the Land Ray is frantically being repaired by the Tech Marine and by all oh, the Scouts. And what's this? It's more Scouts, those fellows that were in the South. And they grabbed it, you know, 22 to 9. Red team is still in this, amazing. Scout snipers still trying to do their thing, as is often the case. The sniper spam does tend to fall off in the late game, as you may expect, when big scary things come onto the field, and they can't quite burst them down quickly enough, but they can burst down those CSM there. Bingus just not paying attention or not caring that they died got enough red for a nuke but they were already running away that must have been very frustrating five to nine on a no cap game what is this terminators for alex on the field they're gonna take so much damage here though those are plasma guards on level three and melter gun stormtroopers who get the cap five to nine single what is this double there brave guardsmen in the face of Terminators and Chaos Space Marines, get it done. Looks like a Hell Fury maybe was being dropped in there by the Inquisitor. That was, I mean, it didn't get much closer than that. Five VPs remaining. Red team gave it a hell of a go. We had a level five Force Commander, a level five Lord General, level three Inquisitor, level three Tech Marine who had a rough game, but they were up against Sniper Spam, which 
can be very difficult to deal with in a 3v3. They did make, you know, mistakes though, leaving those stone guard in the garrison for one. Maybe not having the land raider in the north was a mistake. We had a level 6 plague champion and a level 4 chaos sorcerer. Well, they have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.